how would you go ahead and solve this problem of the early Bitcoin Core wallet? Like, how how would you improve that, and and what is your vision for that now? Well, so that's kind of what I'm doing now is is to overhaul the entire wallet. I, I have uh, a very long term goal of essentially rewriting the whole thing, um, and and really this entails just like figuring out all the individual pieces of the wallet and, and changing them over time. So, so one of the things that, um, the old wallet did was, was it, it was centered around keys and a lot of wallets did this. A lot of wallets still do this where everything's all about the private key, right? But really in Bitcoin, what we have are scripts and in your script, you can have a key, but your script can also have tons of other things. Um, and so, so that's why right now, uh, I've been working, well, it's, it's been merged for a long time. It's been released for several months now. It's the descriptor wallets, which changes that whole paradigm away from, you know, everything's around the key to everything's around a script, which we, uh, which we can add some syntactic sugar and turn it into a descriptor. And within the script are our keys. Another, uh, one of the other big issues in the, in the original wallet, and this is just because it was the first software, I think, the first wallet software is that, uh, being able to support BIP32 was non-trivial. Uh, and that's also why BIP32 took, it took like three or four years just to get merged into core. Um, because the, all the different approaches that were made to, to doing that, uh, just didn't fit well into the the old wallet structure and uh still remain backwards compatible and all that. So now with with descriptor wallets, um I basically gave up on the idea of being backwards compatible entirely uh and and really just trying to move to a new a new paradigm that is also really easy to add new things to in the future. So by having, uh, by being based around descriptors, we can just add a new descriptor and get something new in the future. Mm -hmm. You bring up a lot of interesting points. Uh, and I think the first one to pick out uh, is that aspect of no longer being backwards compatible. And so why was it that the early Bitcoin uh, or the early changes to the Bitcoin wallet always strive to be backwards compatible? And why do you think that now is a good time to break that and to start from scratch? So the the main thing in Bitcoin Core has been that if you took a or at least in the wallet is if you took a wallet from 2009 you could open it in uh 0.21 today or probably uh and that's because a lot of we try not to make changes that that make the new software unable to open old wallets because then you would might prevent people from being able to access their coins and having to maintain all of this old code to handle what we used to do in the wallet, uh, a bunch of uh, old things in the wallet, um, has just made also just changing the wallet itself much more difficult. So now with the Scripter wallets, so since the Scripter wallets is such a large departure from the original, uh, from the, well, we call it the legacy wallet now. Uh, we just decided that, or I, well, okay, I guess say I decided <laughs> and convinced <laughs> everyone else of that, that it would just be better to, to say we're, we're going to make, because descriptor wallets are, are incompatible logically, descriptors are, are not logically compatible with old wallets. Um, that, that we might as well just, uh, Put a clean breakpoint right here, and and break as much compatibility as we can at once, uh, so that moving forward we can still maintain compatibility with with future things. Uh, so so part of the descriptor wallet change was changing the database. Um, for the legacy wallet, we use Berkeley DB uh, 4.8, which is also at this point unmaintained for about 10 years. And, and we're switching to SQLite for descriptor wallets. 
So with this move, what that means is in the future, in in maybe two, three years, uh, Bitcoin Core will not be able to open and, and use a legacy wallet, a wallet that uses Berkeley DB and the, the legacy wallet structure. Um, so, so at some point in the future, you will not be able to take a wallet from 2009 and open it in Bitcoin Core. Uh, and this is kind of a, it's a, it's a big change, uh, that we are trying to, to make it smoother for people. So, you know, between now and, and two or three years from now, you know, there'll be ways to migrate your wallet from legacy to descriptor. And even after we're, we remove BDB, there'll still be a little bit of like compatibility that will be able to, a, a bit of compatibility code that will be able to read the BDB database file, pull the stuff it needs out of it and make a descriptor wallet. So, um, it was just like now I, I felt like, you know, we've been, holding on to this old stuff for so long that it's becoming a problem and and so we should just kill it as soon as possible